All right, welcome to Fit Family. Today's workout, we're gonna be combining a uh, warm up with some muscle flexing. Essentially, isometric holds is what we're gonna be doing. And we created this little game, and I don't know if you can see this. We zoom in and zoom out. But we created this little game. Uh, we used it a twister board. You can probably get an online app to do the same kind of thing. And we've labeled it by a lot of the major muscle groups that are commonly known uh, known in gyms <clears throat> and we're gonna get the kids as part of a little bit of education to Identify where the names of the muscles are in the human body and then we're gonna pick an exercise for that muscle All right, so we're gonna start with a warm-up first <clears throat> So we guys heading back there We do some front kicks and side kicks So we got our body warmed up our muscles moving around a little bit of mobility as always, this is how we start our workouts. So we're going to do 10 of each. Nine, 10 front kicks. And we're going to go 10 side, or sorry, 10 front kicks with the other leg. Good, now we do 10 side kicks. Side kicks, you want to be pointing your toe in the direction of travel. Try and keep your body upright. Okay, we're going to do 6 and 12, so we're going to hinge forward. Try and keep it back as far as we can. One hand and 6, one hand and 12. circles. Palms up in front, down behind, keep the elbows locked. No. Go and change directions.
Okay. So we're going to get into our game. Um, let's see, we'll get Matthew to spin first. So he picked abs. Okay, so we're going to do an isometric hole with abs. So where are your abs? <laughs> Good. What is an exercise we can do to hold an ab position? Can you give me an exercise? Plank? Okay, so we're going to do a minute of the plank. <sighs> no. There we go, one minute of plank. <laughs> dog. Yeah, back to the downward dog. He only knows that one move. <laughs> Guess he wants to play, huh? <laughs> Down, downward dog hold. What? Butt to the camera. <laughs> oh, there you go. See, lay down. Good. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. James, you're up. Shoulders, delts. Delts. So the deltoid is what we call the shoulder. So it has three heads. Front, middle, back. It says delts. So shoulder exercise, what can we do? So we're gonna do an isometric hold. So I haven't showed you guys a lot of these exercises yet. <clears throat> so Matthew, you can grab the sweater. Oh, this was yours. So we're gonna use a towel for this one. So you're gonna want towels for it. Now for this one, what we're gonna do, we're gonna work the, the rear delt head. <clears throat> so we're gonna do 30 seconds per side. We're gonna stand on one, and I'm gonna try and lift the towel up like I'm doing a fly, but we're gonna hold that position. So I'm gonna raise it up, and I'm gonna hold for 30 seconds, and I'm gonna keep trying to raise that arm up. And all our exercises are gonna be like this, because this is the only resistance we have here right now. So go ahead, one hand. So you're gonna bend forward, bend forward, arm out like you're flying away. Yeah, and now raise up as high as you can. So stay forward, lean forward. Matthew, come back up. Just your upper body, okay? Oh yeah, there was another exercise. Oh, this is hard to And he ripped the blanket because he was, when he did it. Not the blanket, the towel. He ripped the towel earlier. Dad, remember you ripped the towel actually. Yeah. Wait, who ripped the towel? He did. Alright, we're gonna change sides. How dare you? It's the same thing in this fly position. We're trying to go even higher. I squished my leg. So we're trying to squeeze and flex that muscle. We're learning what that muscle feels like. So the back of the shoulder here is what you should be feeling. As you're, so rotate your arm like this, bring your body forward, and then you're trying to lift up, using back here. <laughs> okay. Oh, shoulders again, we're gonna do something different. Abductors. Okay. So for abductors, you guys lay down on your sides, on the ground. Okay, so on your side, but you're gonna raise your top leg as high as you can. Good, so now you're gonna hold it here. I'm gonna push down, but I want you to try and fight Wait, back. What? Okay. No. So fight back. So 30 uh, seconds. It's not even a hard push, but it's hard. Straighten your leg. Yeah. Keep your hip over. Yeah. <laughs> so these, oh, no. these are abductor muscles that they're focusing on. Right? Uh, it should be hurting like right here, right? Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. 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 Should be more like over on this side. Yeah, okay. Titan. Ah, and yeah, it's under there. Ah. Okay, so you guys are gonna flip sides. <laughs> flip over, here we go, 30 seconds on this side. Come on to your side. Legs up, leg up, Matthew. Yeah, and then. So 30 seconds. Barely touching you guys. You're, you're dropping your own legs. Oh, give it some effort, okay? You guys got this. Okay. Alright. Good job. To me, I guess. Okay, Matthew, it's your turn. Alright, so we're a pack. It's history. It's a, a pectoral? Where do you... Do you know where it is? Yeah. So the packs are chest muscles. Alright, so what we're gonna do for this one is we're gonna hold a push-up position, halfway down. All right, and what we're trying to do is focus on our pecs and doing the work. For how long? Okay, we're, as long as you can. We're gonna go for a minute. Now, it doesn't mean you're gonna survive a minute, so maybe you take a quick break. Maybe you take a quick break and then do it again. Okay, ready? No, no, no. And if you have to go to a kneeling position, you can too. But I can go like this. So yeah, so hands under our shoulders. I'm just gonna look at you guys in your form for a second. So halfway down a push up. So you go to a kneeling position if you need to. And you're taking a break. And you're trying to focus as much as you can on your chest. When you can, you got this, guys. Yeah. <laughs> your chest, your chest. Keep going. Back up, back up. Keep going, keep going. That's a minute. That's hard. Good one, Matthew. All right, James, you're up. Yeah, so I'm swinging again. Adductors. So our abductors or abductors were on the outsides. Where do you think the adductors are? Inside. Yeah. No. Inside of the legs. Okay. So last time we had our, our leg out and I was pushing you down. This time we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna have the foot on the inside. Or I'm gonna be have my hand on the inside. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna be pushing down instead of trying to hold up. Okay. James, you here too? So both of you, actually I can just hold this kneeling position. Both of you are gonna essentially try and bring your feet together. Ready? Three, two, one, go. All right, you're trying to squeeze your legs together as hard as you can. Try and squeeze your inner thighs. You gotta focus on the right muscle. This is this is what we're trying to learn here. Ah. Ah. 
Okay, make sure you actually use the muscle when you're screaming. <laughs> Okay, same side. Alright, ready? Three, two, one, go. Come on, fight back, use the muscle. Come on, come on, come on. You gotta you got straighten your body out. So right now you're very crooked. So on your side, straight, yeah, and now straight down. There you go. Yes! Shot to make a deal on the door. All right, good. Someone's gotta put my leg, someone's gotta keep my leg down there so I can, I'm just lifting myself up. <laughs> That's good. I'm literally using my weight to do this one up. Grip strength for you guys. Yeah. Okay. My turn. Do you want to do it before? Yeah. Let's back this again. Upper back. Oh, no. So grab your towel or the sweater. <clears throat> so upper back. What we're gonna do is grip the towel. Shoulders back. So sit up. Sit up. So what I want to do is use my legs to stop the towel from coming back. I want to use my upper back to pull as hard as I can with my upper back. Yeah, use your upper body. All right, so we're gonna hold for a minute. So upper back is like squeezing your shoulder blades together. A minute though. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Trying to do it for a minute though. You shouldn't have to let go in a minute. You may not have as much strength, but you shouldn't have to let go. Just squeeze the upper back muscles as much as you can. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. <laughs> so upper, upper back should burn a lot. You're learning what these muscles are. Flex the muscles. Your turn again. Exercise, but we're doing one arm at a time, which is engage the lat one. So two arms like this, one we're pulling, it's a lot of upper back, still lat, but a lot of upper back and shoulder blades. And we turn it into a one arm, and we're gonna bend forward, and we're gonna pull or isolate the lat. All right, so you need to bend all the way over because you're standing straight. So we're gonna bend all the way. <laughs> so we're gonna go about even with the ground. And we're gonna pull and squeeze. All right, we're gonna do 30 seconds per arm. Here we go. 
keep going. I'm just gonna point. So this is where you wanna feel this muscle here. This is your lat. I do feel it all. So this is your lat. All right, so focus on it. So you shouldn't have to stop to take a break because it's only 30 seconds. Stay bent forward. Stop adjusting your upper body. Now we're doing 30 seconds a side on this one. I'll go a little bit longer on the first side because I just go here. Oh, that hurts. Yeah. Gosh, Push your back hurts. straight. You can't see your back. That's straight. So you guys, I'm going to keep holding and you can let go. <gasps> oh, that hurts. What's that? It's a carrot cake. Okay, let's change sides. Do the same thing. That was 30 seconds. Same muscle on this side. So bend forward, back straight, yeah. Uh, uh, you're focusing on that muscle there. Uh, uh, so come back to the exercise. A little bit longer just for fun, keep holding. So you shouldn't burn out, you just lighten up. If you can't squeeze as hard, you don't squeeze as hard. Alright. James. The mighty spinner. You shall spin on It is my duty. Four arms. Four arms. Four arms. Okay. Not equal. So for that one we're gonna stand. No. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna try and squeeze our four. All right, we're gonna do 30 seconds like this, then we're gonna flip our wrist, do 30 seconds like this, then we're gonna change arms. Like we're trying to curl it. So you have to make sure that you're down flat enough that this is really hard to do. If I'm like this and I'm just doing this, there's nothing, right? Okay, ready? And so we're gonna squeeze up. So just trying to curl the wrist. I don't know if you have the right grip. So squeeze it around, and then you're trying to pull up. You think you need to get your towel back. That was very thick. Gosh, that hurts. It's burning, isn't it? All right, now we're doing the opposite. So try to bring that up. Yeah, we're trying to go into curl, flexion, now we're going into extension of the wrist. So arm straight if you can, James. Straighten your arm. So move the towel further down. Go to the end of the towel. With your hand. The end of the towel. Don't grab so much towel. Yeah, and then stand. There you go. <laughs> He's like, oh, it's okay. Alright, change sides. That's okay, just switch. Should, yeah, it should be like rock climbing. After a little while when your form starts to burn. Yeah, you 
You guys are going to use this and you're going to have your foot up like this. Essentially what you're going to do is squeeze your hamstring here to try and bring the table up. Okay? So James, you do the same. It's going to be pretty heavy. That's uh, okay. But you got to hold it though. It's cramping. Okay, yeah. focus on the exercise. Hamstring. Oh, Alright, change sides. So you know you should try and squeeze your hamstring, right? Don't get your feet too close together, you can't squeeze the muscle. Alright, change, James, you're up. Yeah. 
what uh, oh, emphasize. Okay, so we're gonna do a Superman hold. Okay, Superman. So you're gonna come lay down on your stomach, and we're gonna come hands and hands up, feet up, like a skydiving hold. And the birds and the feather fly together. Okay, up and hold, guys. The birds and the feather fly together. Song. Uh, how does this streaming music go? I can't even think of this. <laughs> 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 I don't think that's it. No. Uh, that's a linky song. No, it's not. What's in the song? Thank you, Titan. <laughs> 20 seconds. How does it go? Hey, keep, so squeeze your lower back. Matthew, back in the position. Okay, we're gonna do one more, another one more important muscle called the glute. Where do you think the glute is? No, we're not gonna spin. We're gonna do one more and then we're done. We're gonna do uh, glutes. So what are they? Wait. What are the? I'm gonna put it to glutes. What are the? What's a glute muscle? Where is it? Yeah. What can we do to work our butt? This? Nope. Why your your butt is off the ground? Yeah, you don't squeeze it very well. Hold in going to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what we're doing. It's not the best way to do it. Okay, so we're gonna lay down. We're gonna bring our hips up. Exactly we're gonna squeeze our butt and hold. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, All right, so up and hold. You can switch to one leg if you want for 30 seconds a leg. Makes it a lot harder. So you have to get your butt up in the air. <laughs> Alright, change feet. You made it. Squeezing the glutes, Watch your butt. All right, we are done. Good job, guys. Good job.